Am I gonna find Doo Doo in the tub? Does he poop in the tub? So, um, back in my meth dungeon. Uh, it is day, um, night, uh, it's Thursday. Um, anyway, here at the meth house in, uh, glorious downtown central New York City. Now, the original idea was I was hired, right, to come here and help them, uh, evict people. Well, not really evict people, but during the eviction process, I was supposed to, uh, fix things and clean up some stuff and, you know, just kind of help get rid of, like, roaches and rats and clowns and donuts, whatever I found. And let me be, uh, let me be a little open here, people. So far, I have found, um, a bunch of cats, um, a meth lab, um, a toilet that really needed cleaned out, but I'm not responsible for that this time, because they're just gonna, uh, destroy the building, you know? Uh, overall, they're just gonna tear the whole place down, I guess. So they're like, hey, get these meth heads out of here. Because, you know, we don't want to kill them. We just want them to get the hell out. Anyway, uh, I've also found, um, some domestic disputes. Um, I found that somebody lost their dog and they don't care. Uh, you know, just the usual things you find in a meth house. Uh, meth, meth lab. Found one of them. What? Is somebody trying to get out the door as I'm trying to get in it? Anyway, it was some weird stuff. Um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, really. But I'm apparently supposed to be just breaking into people's houses and making sure... Not breaking in, I'm allowed to get in their houses, but you know what I mean. I'm supposed to be, like, going in their houses, well, their old apartments, and cleaning out whatever I guess I find. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'm supposed to go in their apartments and find out, get what's left, you know, and make sure there's nothing valuable in there, and if there is, put it in my pockets. And, uh, then tell the people that hired me that I didn't find a dang thing. Okay, I guess that's where I'm going. But yeah, you know, I found a, a weird fat guy eating food. Um, he was just sitting there just munching down on beans. He really likes his beans. I can't blame him. Beans are pretty good. Uh, apparently, I am a vampire. And... Alright, Grandpa. Sure, you just sit over there. Uh, don't mind me rustling through your stuff. I'm just gonna go over here and look at your books. Say, look at that book. The Universal Method. Huh. Like, the people who make movies? They write books too? That's weird. I figured the only book they would write would be like at the end of the movie where it tells everybody that did what the thing and they did the thing. Anyway. So, hey, Grandpa, listen. Can I? Oh, Jesus Christ. I may have made a mistake coming in here. Jesus Christ, look at them toes. Listen, sir, you are definitely not able to send feet pics to anybody. Well, I guess that depends on what they're into. Jesus! Holy bejeet! Alright, has anybody ever seen... Wait, what is he reading there? The... The law... Law... What? Oh, good lord. What the... Man, are you like one of them shitty animatronics at the local horror, like, haunted house thing? And you're like, all of a sudden, like, you just jump out when I walk past you. You're like, boing, and you go, oh, and I go, ah, and I crap my pants. Because I really get tired of doing that every single time. And then they're like, hey, something smells like poop in here. And I'm like, uh, I think it's that 
animatronic over there. It, it smells. Good lord. What the? What is that noise? Alright, listen. Is it, you guys ever seen that movie? Uh. Like, what? It, it's like. It's like the cigarettes. Like, when you get, like, the Salem's. Uh, a Salem's Light or whatever. You know, Salem Light 100's in a box. That movie. You know. Uh, well, there's a guy in there that looks just like this dude. Pretty sure it's that guy. Anyway, moving on. You know, the first thing you want got to really ask yourself is, uh, you come into a room like this, right? And you walk in, and you see a guy who looks like, um, that. Right? Looks like a terrible animatronic from a horror movie rocking in a chair and he does that and then you think to yourself you know what I need to do go explore the rest of the house why in the hell would that be something you'd think about doing why why would I go in his bedroom why would I think to myself hey let me go see where the magic happens for that guy because that sounds like a pleasant idea autopsy report I mean okay I, I don't know what the hell any of that shit means man it's a bunch of words I tell you people every time reading is for women and children I to which am neither okay I am to which neither a woman nor a child oh gross Am I going to find doo-doo in the tub? Does he poop in the tub? Wait, first of all, let me just double check. Yep, I'm a vampire. God dang it. I knew it. I knew it. What? Chol tooth? Charter tooth? Cletus tooth. Oh my god, he's using me as a toothpaste. Oh, clear tooth. Well, that is very anticlimactic compared to what I expected it to say. Oh no, he don't doo doo in the toilet in the tub. He just makes tombstones, I guess, in the tub. Anne Marie, that you know, this is you cannot do this in a bathtub. He's got a telephone in his bathtub. Look at that, one of them old timey telephones. Well, that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that is not an actual candle. The way that is shaped. Listen, I have gotten too deep into this. uh man's life. I think I'm out of here. Can I open that? I mean, I don't really need to see what he's wearing. Obviously, he was wearing a terrible onesie black outfit. A black onesie. Yeah, alright. Well, we don't need to go in here, that's for sure. Alright. Let's just go right in here. Excuse me for a moment. Let me just do this. And close that door. Close the door. Close the door. Close, hide behind the door. Hide behind the door. We'll play the nature sketch while we hide behind the door. What in the hell? What in... Did my creepy nephew draw this stuff? Yes, he did, as a matter of fact. That's ironic. Oh, my God. I, I, I do not need to get that close, man. Okay, what? Like a bunch of people's teeth? Popcorn? Oh no, it's the bottom of the lamp. <laughs> Hollow wheel? Really? Really? Wait a minute. What what movies you got here? Pity Nader? What? The night he came the night he camp drunk. The night he comp drunk? I don't think you guys know how to say anything. Max Driver and The Door and Pity Nader. Man, Pity Nader was a good movie. There it is right there. Pity Nader, number two. Pity Nader was a good movie. It's about that pit bull that was like a robot pit bull. That movie is awesome, man. It had that one guy in it and they're like, oh no, he's man's best friend. Oh Jesus, that is... <sighs> what the hell is this? What am I doing in here, people? Look at this. Sure, I want to watch Pity Nader. But I'm definitely uncertain about the uh, conditions in which the room I am in. Am I going to watch Pity Nader? I mean, 
obviously Grandpa is a lonely man. Look at this. Definitely a lonely individual, if you get what I mean, people. Okay? He sleeps with doll heads. And, uh, well, boobies. I mean, I can't blame him for that. <laughs> look at... Woo! Let me look real close at them. Mm-hmm. All right. Inspecting them. They are a little, uh, oxidized. But, I mean, they're in pretty good shape. All right. I can't blame him. Can't blame him at all. Pulse... Pulse tense? Pulse tense? Is that like in the past? What does that even mean? Oh, well, look at that cell phone. He is definitely living in the past. And tapes. Cassette tapes. Doll eggs. Oh, Grandpa, you're a freaking weirdo, man. All right, let's get out of here. You know what? Um. Hey, look at these lamps over here. This is pretty nice. Lamp. What the hell, Grandpa? What kind of weirdo perverted listen uh kid i don't think you should be in here with grandpa he is a freak and i definitely don't think that this is a safe place all right um well what yeah well around grandpa you better Yeah, again, around Grandpa, maybe. That guy is something wrong. I think you need to call, like, Child Protective Services or something about this guy. Uh, seriously. I'm thinking something's seriously wrong with this guy. Um. All right, let's just close him in here and never let him out. You know that police tape? You guys need to put some of that around his door, okay? So, you know, uh, one thing I've learned fighting the devil, um, robot, demon, nutsack, monsters, uh, space aliens, uh, redneck, crazy people, um, giant 17 feet tall monster guys on fire trying to sell me, uh, vacuums, okay? I have done a lot of crazy shit, okay? One thing I've learned, never follow possessed evil children down a long hallway. Okay, don't do it. I've learned my lesson, people. Alright? So before I go anywhere, let's just make goddamn sure I ain't gotta do anything else. As I walk very slowly down every god dang, I swear to baby Jesus. Just check all this. Okay. Leave your bottles out for the beer man for the next day to come pick up. You know, it'd be much easier if I could just take the elevator. Bing! Nope, of course not. Let me just... Uh, bing, 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 bing! Nope, of course not. Why could I do that? That'd make my life easy. <sighs> well, I'll just walk ever so slowly. You know, I could literally step over them boxes to go up. You know that, right? Like, I could I could move things. What is that? High strength. High, what? Two day. What? Is that a castle? What is that? The propane tank. Is that explosive fertilizer? What What are we doing here, people? You guys gonna blow up the meth heads? Pretty sure they can do that pretty good on their own, man. Like, don't know how well you know meth heads, but... Uh, they tend to blow themselves up a lot at, just because they're busy mixing meth. Apparently, uh, they don't know what they're doing most of the time. And they just blow themselves up just at random. Which, I mean, when you're just throwing together stuff like, I don't even know what, bleach and uh, battery acid or whatever they use. I don't know, man. And then they're like, hey, look, I got meth. And then, surprise, you explode. I mean, oh, well, no. Let's just hang on a minute now. Let me go check the other doors. I mean, it shouldn't be like a birthday party. It shouldn't be like, you know, you get your little party hats out. And your little 
little noise makers, me, and you know, and the, the crank, clank, clank ones and stuff like that, and the, the ones you blow on. It shouldn't be that complicated. It shouldn't be like surprise. You should literally be like, oh, I expected to blow up. I'm literally mixing meth. So yeah, that's not a surprise. I'm practically making, you know, chemicals, mixing every kind of chemical I can find in my bathtub and boom. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's not, ew, everybody's ugly back in the day. Look at that, is that Andre the Giant? I did not know Andre the Giant was a teacher before he became a wrestler. That's amazing. Huh. Well, you go, Andre. Come on, flashlight. What? What? Am I made out of a flashlight? Because there's no other light source in here, people. What? Am I? I'm a flashlight. I'm a flashlight. Anyway. So, uh, I'm going to assume this is where the evil Satan kids live. Okay. What the hell? Do I am I in the apartment of the chick from the ring? Jesus! Oh man, you guys need to get new furniture. Look at that. That is that's an old leather couch from 1973. I mean sure it's vintage and that's nice. But man, it is getting pretty wore out there, man. Alright, that Chernobyl documentary on A and E, that's a good one. Nothing? Alright. Expected that. What? what the? Okay. Basement fun. Oh my god. Is this that grandpa guy? One of his videos? Because I can definitely see that being something of his. What the hell? Listen, everybody. I'm going to suggest you do not go back over to grandpa's house ever again. Okay? Grandpa's apartment is not a safe place, kids. Alright? Let me make that clear. Please do not go over to his place ever again. Never. Uh, hello? No, just don't let me go in the door. What the hell? So I just walked in here to pick up a tape that said basement fun? I don't want to watch that. I don't know what's on that. What? What? Yeah. Did Grandpa put you in there? Hey! Hello? You know, that grandpa guy. I, you know, I got a bad feeling about him. I got a terrible feeling about grandpa. Jesus. What the, Did I just... Did I just glitch? Did my brain just have a problem? What? Let me back... Uh, hello? Do that? Am I? D uh. Okay, well, I guess I gotta play hopscotch then. And hop the scotch. And, uh, hey, where? What about the scotch? At this point, I think I might be on too much scotch. Hey, wait a minute. Did you guys? I didn't even do a um. I didn't throw a rock, man. How am I supposed to do that? You guys don't know how to play hopscotch, man. Yeah, because I'm gonna do that. That was a, you don't just hop the scotch and then be like, oh here, let me just can I get out of that place now? I can. But why would you do What I just closed it on accident. I didn't mean to close it. Oh my god, whatever. I don't care. I don't care what's in your closet, man. Keep that weird ass shit in there. I don't need to see what weird stuff you have in your okay all right are we doing this is this what we're doing now do i live here now is this my place just hopscotch along nothing in the bathroom okay you have oh. come this far but you won't make it further without our help well i don't i don't need to make it further i don't need to go any what do you mean I ain't gonna make it farther without your help? I literally can hopscotch without you. Watch you this. Have come this far, 
What? But you won't make it further without our help. Get out of my way, ghost kid! Look, I made it. You, you're a lying turds, what you are. I made it just fine, ghost kid. Nothing in the closet. Am I missing something, people? Am I missing something? All right, here we go. Here, here we go. You ready for this? Maybe I can grab this skateboard and just skate out of here. And what the? All right, listen, kid. I think you're an idiot. All right. Because, uh, I made it just fine further without you, you stupid, stupid kid. Well, you're a dumb sack of turds, which you are. You've made it this far, but you ain't gonna make it further without us. Um, literally just did. Literally. Like, every definition of the word, literal, walked right out the door without you. Um... You know, for being a ghost, you're kind of an idiot. I think you'd be able to, like, see into the future or, uh, like, see through walls or something at least and be like, oh, hey, no, he can walk right out now. But, oh. Hey, this is a cat lady's place, man. Something behind there? Well, maybe just really bad board work. Listen, cat lady, why you got the same picture twice? You really must love your grandkids or something. You really love your cats. Huh. Anyway. Record player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done this already, people. What the fuck is that? What are you... What are you talking through a paper tube? Listen, I can't understand paper tube talk, man. I don't know what paper tube talk... What the hell? Hello? Better watch on the ceiling, man. Sometimes them creepy people take cobweb. I knew it. Cobwebs. Okay, so what? Um... Hey, there's no cats in here. Huh. That crazy... What the... Did you eat the cats? True story, people. <clears throat> I knew a guy once. Um, He worked for my mom a long time ago at a bait shop. What in the... Jesus. What the... Okay, all right. Okay, S&M bondage doctor. Well, I'm back in this apartment. And there's the people stuck in the TV like in that poultry geist movie. You know, the one about the giant chicken that worked at the convenience. Oh my. Is that Hitler? All right, let's just close that. Don't need to be watching Hitler. Is that Hitler? Look at that. He got a mustache and everything. And there's the Chernobyl thing. And there's like Looney Tunes. It's Hitler. Hitler has to do with Looney Tunes. Warner Brothers. And Hitler. And a butterfly. It all's coming together, man. and making sense now. It's all starting to make sense. The Chupacabra is right. The Illuminati. Everything. It's all starting to come together, people. I'm not paranoid. I just know the truth now. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. I can't get out. <laughs> okay, so anyway, here's the thing. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. <laughs> um. Oh, anyway, this guy I knew. He, he used to eat cats. He ate his neighbor's cats because he hated his neighbors. And they had cats everywhere. And it was weird. But yeah, that's about it. You know, I don't think going over to that TV with a... Uh, people trapped in it is a good idea right now you know I might need to go unload my pants I mean definitely have a let to what am I saying what the I was like saying how you come in here and poop but 
got distracted for some weird reason. What the? All right. We got to... I guess we got to do this, people. We got to find out what the hell's going on. And I guess the only way to do that is to walk over to the creepy TV and go down and sit next to it and say they're here. Is that what we're doing? We're doing this? We're doing the they're here thing? I, mean, I could just sit here and smoke some Salem lights. You know? But nope. No, we're doing this. We're doing the they're here thing. I could get a samurai sword and just hack all the ghosts up, man. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm here. They're here. We're here. We're queer. Get used to it. I don't know what's going on, people. Look, I'm doing a little dance. How do I do this? Let me stare at the TV. Oh, no. All right, big deal. What? Okay. Whoop diddly do! I don't really give a crap about none of this stuff. <laughs> like what what am I doing here, people? How am I doing this? Can I get out now? Oh my god, do I need to go in here and do something? Oh no, hello Hitler. Hello Chernobyl people. Hello what is it plates? What Thanksgiving? Okay. No. Nothing in here. Oh, good Jesus. Alright, listen to me, bondage doctor from fucking Dead by Daylight. Listen, no! What are you doing? You have come this far, but you won't make it further without our help. Come what? join us in our eternal quest. We shall hunt down every inhabitant in their sleep. Your internal quest to what? Do meth in a... Look, see, it's the doctor from Dead by Daylight. He's only, only, he's like, S and M doctor from Dead by Daylight. And... What do you mean? <laughs> to be continued, my ass. Find me on all of your favorite social sites and join my insanity. Whee! Oh, look what I made!